Hello there everyone, my name is Ray, today we're going to play some more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is part number 9, still attempting the 3 heart run. Like I said, I'm going to finish this game regardless if I fail the 3 heart run or not. So if I fail the 3 heart run, then uh, I'm just going to keep going. It'd be kind of interesting to see how long I last, to be honest with you. Because if I do fail the 3 heart run, like I said, I'm still going to keep going. But I don't know if I'm going to at that point go around and get all the heart containers... Heart pieces and stuff, or what? I don't know. We already beat the first two bosses. And, uh, didn't get the whatever from them, so it is what it is. But, uh, last episode, we did the Goron race and got this. That's basically all we did last episode. It took me longer than it should have to get those, but, uh, I ended up getting it. Um, can you stop doing that, please? What up, Dongo? Ah, uh, come on. There we go. So, two strikes in this bad boy. This beautiful golden goddess of a sword here. And, uh, death. That's all she wrote. So, those are 50, uh... 50 rupees a piece you get from beating those big Dodongos, which is cool. Normally, they take a while, um, for you to get past. Really? Uh, something just died over here. It would be, obviously, it was that green choo-choo, but whatever. So, the objective for the day is to go into uh, Romani. Well, not go into Romani, although. <laughs> well, we're supposed to go into uh, Romani Ranch and uh, help them fight off some aliens. No bullshit. So, let's get this out of here first. One of the few times I'm actually going to want to return the flow of time to normal. Turn that flow, baby. Alright. Because otherwise I'm going to have to wait around for quite a bit. Um, this is actually probably going to be somewhat annoying, to be honest with you. Because of my inability to use this controller correctly. Alright, so we don't want to speak to him, we'll speak to this guy. Hmm? Oh, of all places! You're a Goron, so you should be able to carry a powder keg, right? Oh, it's only 50 rupees, okay. Since we completed Homeboy's... Since we completed Homeboy's test... He gave us a little stamp that gives us permission to use that. If we came here as a Goron before that... We would not be able to, um... We would not... Wait, what? Okay, yeah. We would not have been able to do this. Because he would be like, Oh, you have to complete the Master's test first. And... Technically, you, you could have gotten the fire arrow and then done his test and then left, but literally, what would have been the point? Um, there would have been no point in doing that. Um, just for the simple fact that... Uh, yeah, give me that. Just for the simple fact that there's really just no freaking reason to. Oh, I thought I could do that. Not, you know what? Hold on. Let's get out of here real quick. Because, I mean, you, there are ways for you to skip things in the game, like, legitimately, without using any glitches and whatnot. That's one of the things you can do. Um, because that would give you access to certain something that we're going to do here in a little bit. And then it would also give you access... Where are the arrows? I'm not getting any arrows. Oh, God. Hold on. I had to sneeze. I really hope I made that in time. I think I did. I'm not getting any arrows. I'm not really sure why. Usually, I can get arrows. Well, no, I guess that's not true, because I didn't get arrows last time either, I don't think. Oh, whatever. Uh, we'll go do this, and then... Uh, that stupid bird is so annoying. We'll go and do this, and then... Get the arrows after that. Um, anyway... Let's pop this up real quick. And homie knows what the powder keg is too because he runs from it. It doesn't take very long for it to blow up. The, the one that we get from the test is like literally 15 times the time. And homeboy's appreciative, but at the same time he's like, well, I mean, I, I, I could have done it. And yes, he can. Takes him two days to do it, so that's a difficult task. Let's take our mask off real quick. 
Is it just me or do you prefer people who've played this game in Ocarina of Time? I prefer this game's um, ranch theme to the one in Ocarina of Time just because the singing that um, Malon does all the time is kind of annoying. Look! Isn't that your horse? Yes, it is. Epona, what's up? Sup, girl? Don't know what you're doing here. Um, I think we can get arrows from this crate already. Yeah. Which is a very good thing, because I'm going to need those arrows. Alright, come here. Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name? Ray. Ray? That's a nice name, but... How about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. See, so you're wearing green clothes and you patter around about when you walk, so Grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight. They are coming. Yeah? They, they come at night every year when the carnival approaches. This is such an out of place Zelda enemy. They come riding in a bright shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. And then they come to the barn. My older sister won't believe me, which is really weird since either they bring the cows back, which would make no sense for them, Lord knows what they're doing to them up there, or she's just missing cows and can't figure out why. But Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting for an assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? <laughs> Great, now that's the spirit, Grasshopper. Okay, then I'm going to start into this. Ah, I'm going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. Well, aim for that barn and approach it slowly, so hit them with arrows so they can't get in. Your sword, bombs, none of that shit will work. You got that, and you mustn't leave the ranch. Grasshopper, let's practice right away. So, I can leave now, but when the aliens start showing up, I can't, uh, I can't take off, or it'll just count as I'm leaving. Oh, losing. Us, losing. Ten goes, you got ten minutes. Two minutes, what the hell? Did I say ten minutes? I said ten minutes. Alright, so how do you aim? Is it left or right? Oh my god. I'm not very good at this. Um, it's much easier. Wow, this is super sensitive controls too. Can I lower the sensitivity? I, I'm pretty sure I can. Um, but um, this, I'm really, really worried about. There is a... Uh, a mini game, well, two mini games that you can do: sw uh, the swamp shooting gallery and the shooting gallery in the town. I am going to ruin those. Yeah, uh, in in a bad way. Let's go this way. You've got two minutes. I I don't give a shit about uh, beating the record. I really don't. I just don't want to have to do this twice. Not that it's super difficult, but I just can't aim for shit. I'm so used to the. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, I want to say gyroscope controls, but I don't think that's it. The controls where I can actually like aim with the 3DS, it's so much easier with that. I don't even know where the last one is. There we go. So I'm just not used to this! I'm pretty sure you don't have to beat the minute to be her assistant. That's great! You two are perfectly together. I'll teach Romani's horse calling song to you, Grasshopper. Now you two keep getting along and go practice some more. The horse seems to like this song. Like, how does she know this song? Alright. I've gotten better with the controls. As far as, like, tapping the C button I mean to tap.
Maybe I just haven't played the uh, N64 version in a long time, but I was pretty sure you could control the camera in that game. I can't seem to do it in this one, Epona Song. Song of two who are bound by trust. So I can leave now. When your arrows hit these, they'll burst into nothing, but the real ones keep popping up. If they get into the barn, we lose. They run away at the first light of the sun. So they come at like 2 o'clock and they leave at like 5, 5.30. Yeah, I got it. So I can just leave now and not come back. I have Epona, quote unquote, I have unlocked Epona. So what we're going to do is leave. Um, I'll be coming back to get the aliens. But uh, there's a thing I want to do first. Um, what's up, girl? I forgot she was out here. Can I... I mean, like I said, though, I actually do have to do this for what I'm trying to do. Why can't I talk to him? Alright, we'll get down, I guess. She won't talk to me when I'm up there. Speak! What the hell? Do I have to make a certain distance from her? I saw the thing show up! Thank you. I guess you have to be behind her. That mask. Oh, that's right. Oh, hold on. Oh, my. Did you come from town? Yep. Then that means Milk Road is open to traffic. Good, I can deliver milk to town now. <laughs> Welcome to Romani Ranch, Chateau Romani's village. Enjoy yourself. All right, so uh, this chick here, this, no, this girl here is uh, Kremia. I want to say. Um, she is just literally the adult. Get on the horse. She is literally just the adult sprite of uh, Melon from Ocarina of Time. And then in Ocarina of Time, they have the young sprite, who is what they, or what is what they use for, what's her face? Uh, Romani. I think that's Kremia. I don't know what the hell her name is. I'm pretty sure that's it, though. So they're right next to the freaking ocean, which is where we need to go next. So I'm just going to go out here real quick. Activate one of the... You know what? There's a thing in Ocarina of Time where those creatures right here are called levers. You need a opponent to get over here, obviously. Um, there's creatures back there that are called levers, the things that pop out of the ground. In Ocarina of Time, if you kill a certain amount of them, a big old purple, mean-looking lever will show up. Um, he takes a few more hits than the regular ones, but other than that, he's basically the same creature. Um, I don't know if that thing shows up in this game or not. It'd be kind of interesting for me to just stand out there, or like over here too, because they're at, they're in here at the beach. But uh, yeah, so I just want to do two things here first, and uh, get off, and then we will go back. I will make it nighttime, and I'll go back to the ranch, and I'll kill me some ghosts. You can walk right up to the ghosts, and nothing will happen. I don't even think they have attacks. They won't. I've never been hurt by them. I don't even know if you can be hurt by them, as I believe I literally just said. But this area here is the next area that we're going to be messing with, obviously. But for now, this is pure business. No pleasure. Because I take pleasure in beating the hell out of those pirates. Doing what we need to do. Somebody! Uh, please. Get me. Get me to shore. Alright. Grab him by the booty. He's a little... You can do this any day you want. He's a little further out to sea. Every time you do this. Well, every day. So if I went in tomorrow, he'd be a little further out. If I went out on... Uh, the third day, he'd be even further out. Are you, are you serious? I picked him up. And then dropped him. Why does he have the, uh... He's got the teeth of the, oh... I don't remember their names. They're, they're some kind of fish around his gut. Yeah. Yo, dude, those freaking seagulls look incredible. 
Yeah. In a bad time there, buddy. I like how they're just swimming around. I'm like, they're not vultures. They're not going to eat his ass. I mean, he is kind of a fish, so maybe... Oh, I'm a cow of the uh, Zora folks and all that. Guitarist of the Zora band. I think this is it for me. My final message, dog. We listen, I'll listen. Now he's got his strength back. He can just get up and belt away on that instrument. One, two, three. Oh, baby, baby, listen to me. The carnival's beginning soon. We're the ones they're waiting to see. But that girl, our vocalist, she lays some strange eggs, dog, and she's lost her voice. You can't hear what she say, though. Whoa! In Great Bay now, something is a happen a happening. Really? Who says that? Is it now? Baby. Oh, baby, listen to me. I don't want to beg. Gerudo pirates! They stole that girl's eggs. I don't call them Gerudo. I don't care what you call them. You can call them Gerudo. You can call them Gerudo. You can call them your mom for all I care. It don't matter. That's what I call them. I went to stop the Gerudo pirates. Then pow and bam, I got knocked down and here I am. Baby! Baby, if I die like this, even if I die, it won't be in peace, that's for sure. I'm not going to try and do that last word. Somebody, please rescue her eggs before the pirates take their toll. Oh, somebody, somebody, please heal my soul. That's all. Thank you. Facing the damn dirt. Um. There we go. You know what? I barely noticed all those hearts in this game. I know they were in the 3DS version. Ha! Ah! Your pawn is in the bag of being a good girl. I knew they were in the 3DS version. I wasn't sure that they were in this version. Um, I don't understand. Are you dead? Why do I have to heal your soul? Why can't I just, like, get you a fucking sandwich and then let you take a nap? You're not bleeding. I, I don't understand. Like, unless he's already dead, this doesn't make any sense. This has only worked on beings that were already dead. And unless this is some Final Fantasy X crap where you can stay around after you're dead, it's highly unlikely we actually had to do this. Oh, Macau. It's your girl, Princess Ruto. What is her name? Lily, I think, in this game. But they use the sprite for Princess Ruto. Yeah. See you later, Macau. He has like no play in this game. Got the Zora mask. Legendary. It's weird because like we were a Deku for an entire day. Then we followed a spirit around and did a favor for him. And he told us a really long, well not a long story, but a story about how he was sad and depressed and all that. And this guy literally just stands up, tells us his life sucks, heal me. Yep. Carve my farewell song on my grave, bro. I'm depending on you to help that singer girl. Why don't you just say your girlfriend? I'm depending on you to save my girlfriend. Please, help my lady, whatever, but that singer girl? That sounds a little impersonal, bro. We know you two are together. You ain't slick. Alright. So, I like to cheat. So, instead of doing the... The first time you put on the mask, you're supposed to, like, do that little transformation thing. We're not going to do that. Like, they put on the mask and you can't skip it. And he's like, oh! He screams and yells and it's super sad. Um, actually, you know what? Before we go do that. Leave me be. I like how they just give him like a somewhat fishy version of um, Young Link or Adult Link's... Uh, noise so wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute yeah he's a good swimmer 
I mean, what else did we expect, right? Come here. I see you were knocking, but you can't come in. Green clothes, white fur. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We started over. I was like, bro, you've seen me before. My father tells me to act mage, but what the hell for? <laughs> Tingle is awesome. I don't care what you say. Those hips, though. Let's try it. Let's buy the Great Bay Temple. <laughs> Alright, we may as well, uh... I know it's cheaper to buy the Stone Tower map from the actual Stone Tower, but... Much like in any other, like, main series Zelda game, other than, I guess, like, uh, what the hell is it called? Uh... Twilight Princess, apparently, rupees just, like, don't matter. Boy? I was doing better, too, and I still mucked up that song. It's all good. We got some aliens to kill. Milk Road. I seriously, I don't know why I can't skip that. I swear you can skip that in the N64 version. I'm not even talking about the 3DS version. Obviously, they're different games, but this is supposed to be exactly like the... Whatever one. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make it nighttime. And then I'm going to see you guys at 2 o'clock. Because it's going to take literally just a couple of minutes of me standing around waiting. So I'll see you guys in a sec. 2 o'clock. And there she comes. I don't know where her dog is. Um, okay, it's almost time. You take care of things outside, Grasshopper. If you have a map, watch your map carefully. Okay, whatever happens, don't let them get into the barn. They'll come from behind the barn too, so watch out. If you run out of arrows, we have crates at the near the house, so stock it when you need to. I shouldn't need to get it more than once. Um, her dog is somewhere. I think the dog just shows up into the cutscene, and he's helpful. Uh, they'll have white squares, white dots, whatever, on the bottom screen there. That'll show where they're at, but the dog will go towards the one that's closest to the barn. This used to always make me nervous when I was younger. Not, like, freak me out, but make me super nervous. Okay. This is going to be really rough, I think. This is actually going to be really rough for me, I think. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Hit this damn thing. Where do you think you're going, Mr. Alien Boy? Uh-oh, wait a minute. No! Um, I might actually fail this. Like, right now. Piss off. Piss off. Wow, that was way too close. Wait, there's one right there! Oh my god, I got him. Oh my god! That actually, that actually freaked me all the fuck out. Get those arrows. Get those arrows. I don't think I've ever had them get that close. I don't think I've ever had them get that close. I'm not even going to pay attention to the damn... Uh... He was literally in the barn, too. That's what's kind of weird about it. He was in the barn. And he just wasn't in the barn enough, I guess. I don't think I've ever had them get that close. That freaks me out. Alright. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh my goodness. So the benefits to not slowing down time is you don't have to defend it as long. The benefit to slowing down time is um, they move half as fast. But as you guys can see, it didn't take very long. We, we literally finished up already. I thought I would have to do that multiple times. To be honest with you. Because, again, my lack of ability to use the C buttons correctly on this controller. Excuse me, good lord. Is unexplainable and stupid. We did it. We won. Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks too. 
Here's what Monty thinks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp like we do here at the ranch. Got a milk bottle. Alright. It's almost time for my sister to get outside to get back to bed. See you later, little hero. So if I had my little bomber's notebook, which I should get, um, I might actually just end up doing that off screen. Okay, so that's the third bottle right there. Um, that would have given me a little bit of a, you did it kind of thing. So anyway, for now, we're actually going to end this episode because I don't know how, how long that is, but it's been almost 40 minutes of recording time. I had to stand around for like eight minutes. So a good amount of it isn't going to be actually part of the video. But for now, like I said, we're going to end this episode, and uh, next time we are going to start off uh, by finishing up this side quest. So, thank you for watching as always. My name is Ray, take care of yourselves, everybody. I will see you next time for part number 10 of Majora's Mask. But until then, goodbye, everybody.